was okay. Better like that, or is this more? So, uh, so we have done this, and now we have we have it. This is what we can hear. It's too easy, right? One line, and we have imp uh, two lines. One export, one import, and we have uh, now all your uh, documents from uh, the MongoDB inside MySQL. So let's query it to see what it looks like, right? So here you can see I'm using JavaScript inside the shell and I do restaurant find. It's a bit long because uh, I, I will receive all the 25,000. So let's limit it to one. So I will do this, restaurant find limit one, and we have the, f the first document in the collection. This is MySQL. MySQL 8, you can have this, right? More example, so you do, okay, restaurant, fine, and I want to see the name and the cuisine, and I want to limit to two records. So two documents, I have this first one, so cuisine Irish, this is the name of uh, the restaurant, and this is cuisine American, and another name, right? All that without any single line of SQL. So documents, no using, not using SQL, this is what people want. So we, we go there, right? We can add criteria, so we can say, okay, restaurant, find, I want to know Italian cuisine, and it runs, and we have Italian cuisine. I can use in, I want Italian or Spanish cuisine, right? And it, and it does. Of course, here you have the, the first two are only Italian, but it would work. So what means for developers? So for developers, uh, no SQL, SQL is MySQL 8, and this is what you can have, and this is some, uh, I tried to jump again in, in PHP that I did a long time ago. So this is, was my best design I was able to do, right? Uh, the code is on GitHub uh, if you want to see how, how it works, right? So uh, this is what's behind the, 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 for, the, the, um, the form you just saw, right? So we use uh, MySQL X. We get the session, so we connect using the new X protocol because MySQL 8 has two protocols, the standard protocol and the X protocol. We connect with the login password where we connect. Then I say, okay, I want the schema. I want to get that collection. And then I run uh, the, the search I, I was uh, adding here, right? And then for each result, I can show them, and this is what we see here, right? So I was able to do this form, uh, uh, in web form, without any single line of SQL. E easy, right? We only use CRUD operation. This is an example. Uh, this works for uh, the CRUD operation that uh, you, you have seen, works for all the documents, but it works also for normal tables if you want. So if you have standard table and you want to give the possibility to your uh, developers to only use CRUD operation, on tables, it's also possible. So this, these are the different type of uh, CRUD operation. So we have the add, remove, and this is the, the, the syntax, right? Modify, modify, it's cool because you can say, okay, I want to modify the name and I put the name, I will bind with the new value. Or you can also use the patch uh, function and you can patch your uh, JSON document like that. So all you need to know is here on the user guide with all the CRUD, uh, CRUD operations. But like I said earlier, uh, in MySQL, we also do care about your data, right? So the MySQL uh, document store is uh, fully ACID compliant. So it means that it relies on InnoDB. So your data, it's stored on InnoDB. It's not a no, yet another uh, engine uh, behind uh, MySQL. No, it's the InnoDB, which is the, the most, uh, uh, let's say, powerful uh, engine and uh, robust that we have, right? So by default, you have flush lock at transaction commit. So every time you do a transaction, every time you're gonna insert document, it will be, uh, flushed also on disk, double write buffer, so if you have an issue writing a, a new DB pages, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna find it. Sync bid lock equal one, so it means that every time you write uh, a, new, uh, a new document, it will be written also synced on the binary lock and sent uh, 
to the slave. So all that works with the norm. Everything you have in, S in MySQL now, you have it with the document store. So your replication, all that, group replication, the isolation, all that works, but with documents. So we do care about your data, I, as I already said. So if you care about your data, but if you want to use CRUD operation and if you want to have uh, uh, documents, MySQL document store. More. So this is transaction support that we are just saying, oh, I don't use transaction when I do uh, document store, but it's possible. So we just do start transaction, we add what we want, uh, then we, we can see it, and after that we can roll back, check again, it's gone because we haven't committed the transaction. So it's possible to play with uh, a transaction inside the document store. So it's cool, right? But so we have document store, we can store our documents. We have CRUD operation, so we can add, remove, we can use all that data without playing with SQL. It's ACID, perfect. Uh, we have the durability that it's missing uh, several sometimes on the uh, other document store. But what makes the document store of, of MySQL uh, that unique, right? A challenge. I, I like challenges, right? So you know, some of you already know the collection uh, of uh, the restaurants. If I want to ask you, okay, now, you're, some of you are developers, I want to have the, the list of the best restaurants of each type of cuisine we have, and show me, uh, so for each type of cuisine, I want the best restaurant, and then I want, of, of course, that the best of all of them is the, is the one on top, right? So, for example, if the best restaurant ever is an Italian restaurant, I want Italian, then the restaurant, and then the, the average rates it has. But don't forget, behind that, so in the background, or uh, the back end, this is only documents that we just imported right now. How do you do that? How easy it is to do that in uh, using Mongo? Sorry to point you, because you said you are, you said you are using Mongo, so... Uh, Oh, do you do that in Mongo? Will you be able to do this in Mongo easily? Yeah. This is what I want, the point I wanted to go, right? So when most of the people, when they do that, they give to the, the developers, okay, Please play a prototype, then make, a, make me a product that stores data, blah, blah. Then they say, yeah, but we need now to make some queries on that, uh, reporting, whatever. What, how do we do that? And what I saw when uh, I was doing consulting is that people extract the data from the document store, put it in a rational database to do the queries. So they copy the data on two different systems, and they need people to maintain the document store, they need people to maintain the, um, uh, the relational database, and they need to copy the data twice, and all that kind of stuff. With the MySQL document store, just use SQL. With your uh, no SQL data, and aggregation. So we make a common table expression. SQL is powerful. We do some Windows function, and here we are. So we have the cuisine, juice, smoothie, fruit, salad. The name is Juice IT Health Bar, has an average of 75. So for all the juice, smoothie, fruit, and salads uh, restaurants we have, this one is the best. And is the best of all of them. Then the second best cuisine is, ch is Chinese food, and this is the restaurant. So you don't need to copy all the data somewhere else. You don't need to transfer your data. You don't need to use, to maintain another uh, system. It's all on the same system. And this system is the MySQL 8. So, and of course, exactly the same way we were doing the CRUD operation, at a certain point to, let's say, uh, uh, to answer one of the requirements that we need. For example, oh, I need to make this report. You can say here, Okay, now in my session, I don't do add, rem uh, remove, delete. I will go back to SQL and do SQL. And if you see and if you, you, you follow the document stores, the, the leaders in the document store, they are trying now to do that. They are trying to say, oh, 
we should use SQL also because we need that. But it will be very complicated for them to have SQL because they don't have the backend uh, that uh, uh, a relational database has like, like we do. So good luck to, to, to achieve that for them. So what's for DBA? For DBA, in fact, all the secret of what we have seen now is just the JSON data type, right? So this is, we can also add columns that we could index. So if you see, oh, our query are too slow, the DBA can add indexes for your JSON queries. And uh, for example, like this. So this is virtual columns. So the index is materialized on disk. But the data is still in your document, in the JSON data type. It's not that you, you didn't create a new column physically, so you don't copy the data. Just the index, e extra index you have. And you can validate, but I have uh, just some few time left, so I will pass this. But the slides will be available. So why can you do, what can we do all that? So all these indexes is also then to speed up. For example, here we do um, uh, fu uh, full scan of the table. When we create some indexes, we do the same queries and uh, we use the index. So it's possible to do it inside of the document store or outside. You can have this index to speed up everything, right? Yeah, this is how it looks like, a table in, uh, for, for the DB8. But the, the developer doesn't need to care about that. It works, right? Here you can do arrays. I, I can have uh, the first one, the last one, and see whatever you want. It, it's very easy to use. Okay. This is a new. Uh, uh, there is a plenty of JSON uh, function in MySQL, and this is one that it allows you to extract the document and shows it and use it like it was uh, a, a normal table. So what do I gain? I gain the best of the, of the two words in one product. Data integrity, I am completely ACID compliant, I have my transaction, I can use SQL if needed, but I'm also schemaless. I have also flexible data structure and very easy to start because I can use CRUD operation. So all that in one single product with all the benefits, with all the ecosystem around MySQL we have seen. So you can use the proxy SQL or you can use uh, Ghost if you need to do uh, changes, whatever you want. All the ecosystem of MySQL, it's still compatible with, uh, with this. So uh, again, the cars against uh, humanity. So they said that the MySQL document store is the best thing since uh, the sliced bread. It's, it's a quote of Dave, my colleague here. So thank you very much. Uh, do you have questions? Yes. <laughs>